As part of your home learning offer, we wanted to give you the opportunity to demonstrate the effort you have been putting into your work and receive feedback on your progress. To enable you to do this, we have included key indicator pieces, or KIPs for short, as part of your home learning schedule. To check which KIP you should be doing and to find all of your online learning resources, simply go onto your school website and click online learning at the top. In here, you will find your schedule and all the lessons you need. There are two timetables at the top. The first one shows you a suggested schedule for working through your lessons at home. You can see here that the week has been split up so that you can complete lessons in the majority of your subjects. Although you don't need to follow this schedule as it is here, it is important you complete all of the lessons each week. Your teachers will upload them into the online learning section. The second timetable is for your KIPs. This will show you your year group, the week each KIP needs to be completed, and the KIPs required for that week. You are only expected to complete two KIPs each week. In this example, Year 7 Week 2 will need to complete Science and Art. If you go back onto the Online Learning homepage, you can select the subject you need, and when you open up Science, Year 7, Week 2, you can see two KIP documents. They are the same document but one is a PDF and one is PowerPoint so that everyone can open the KIP. All of your KIPs will look like this one with the task at the top telling you what you need to do Helpful hints will provide tips to help complete the KIP Expectations will give you an example or mark scheme to help you. And finally, you can find the email address that you need to send your completed kit work to. Try to give yourself 45 minutes to work through your kit. You can complete it on a computer or write out your work on paper. Once it is complete, save your work as a PDF, Word, PowerPoint or Google Doc or simply take a photo of it with your phone. You will then need to email your finished kit to the email address for your school. You can find the correct email address at the bottom of your kit instruction page. You can email your kit anytime during the kit week but the final deadline is 5pm every Friday. Once your kit has been received, one of your teachers will check your work and send you a personalised feedback sheet.